Welcome to Thailand. This is gonna be my home for the next four months. More precisely, Bangkok Park, which is actually where I'm on the roof on right now. There's two main reasons why I'm here in Thailand. Uh, one is because I have an internship at Western Digital, which is the largest manufacturer of hard drives in the world. And its facilities are approximately uh, about 20 kilometers that way. Other reason why I'm here is I wanted to travel, see the world, and live a little bit. And Bangkok, the city, is about 50 kilometers that direction. So traveling is all about new places, new culture, new people, and new friends. So currently, I, here at Bangkok Park, there's about 25 of us that are interns at Western Digital. From all around the world, we got Australians, South Africans, Japanese, Americans, Canadians, Germans. One thing that shocked me at first was the fact that all of them seem to be pretty amazing people, which surprised me since if you took 25 random people off the street, what's the chance that all 25 of them would be pretty amazing, outstanding people that you would want to spend the next four months hanging out with? But when you think about it for a bit longer, it kind of makes sense. What kind of people choose to go halfway across the world into the unknown, leaving behind their friends, their families, and their lifestyles to get paid next to nothing for four months of the year? It takes a certain kind of person to do that. So for a change in scenery, I came up here to Chiang Mai. It's only a 10 hour bus ride. It's currently Sunday early on the last day. So change. The biggest change I've had to go through since being here in Thailand is actually how I speak. The first week, first day actually when I talked to my mentor, the first thing he said to me is slow down. Which wasn't unexpected considering the fact I know that it's not their first language. But what was unexpected was when I was had to be asked by the Germans to slow down. Again, it's not their first language. But I, I thought they spoke it fairly regularly. Had to have a pretty high proficiency to go through it and go through university in English. But at last, I still need, was asked to slow down. Then I naturally went and asked the other Canadians. What did they think? Did they think I spoke fast? And apparently, yes. And I didn't know this for the last 18 years that I've been speaking. So the fact that I actually speak faster, I find brings up a very interesting point. My point of view, whenever I'm talking, I'm really just saying whatever comes to my mind at that point. I'm not really thinking about it. It just happens. So do others multitask when they talk? So they're half thinking, half talking? And that what slows them down? Or do I just think faster? That allows me to talk faster? But that'd be very self-centered of me to think that. If it is that people think faster, which we kind of know from IQ tests and other points of views when you interact with people, you know some people just think faster. What is the mechanism in the brain that allows that to happen? Because we all have the same brain, we all have the same neurotransmitters, and they take physical time for them to transmit. Is it just how the wiring works? The ratio of gray matter to dark matter? That's just something to think about. finished editing my first vlog. Uh, it's now Sunday night, so a week after the Chiang Mai video was filmed. I think we can both agree that it video was at most uh, mediocre. 
but hey, it's a start. Uh, that was my goal this term, was to title vlogging, see what happens. Uh, I've started that. I'll try to keep that going. If you have any productive comments, please leave them below. Until next time, keep those thoughts queuing.